Welcome to VMware Cloud Provider Hub. In this session, we will demonstrate the VMware Cloud Director Service lifecycle functions in Cloud Provider Hub. VMware Cloud Director Service allows customers of all sizes to enjoy agile cloud expansion with consistent operations. VMware Cloud Director Service enables cloud providers to deliver secure, flexible, multi-tenancy to VMware Cloud on AWS, enabling them to provision custom-sized slices of VMware Cloud on AWS for customers. A cloud provider can consume VMware Cloud Director Service on Cloud Provider Hub using the standard VMware Cloud Provider commit contract structure. It is a consumption-based service and is billed in arrears. This demonstration will show you the lifecycle functions of the new VMware Cloud Director Service in the VMware Cloud Console. You will see how a new instance is created, the process to reset the administrator password, how to create a support bundle, associate an already provisioned VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC with your VMware Cloud Director Service instance, associate a custom domain name, and finally, how to delete a VMware Cloud Director Service instance. We'll start with creating a new VMware Cloud Director Service instance. Log into the VMware Cloud Services console at console.cloud.vmware.com and in an organization with the VMware Cloud Director Service enabled, select the service in My Services. If there are no existing instances, you'll be taken to the welcome screen where you can create your first VMware Cloud Director Service instance. Fill out the instance properties, including the name, the AWS region environment that it will be deployed in, the template with the VMware Cloud Director software version required, and the administrator password to be set in the new instance. This form will assist you with ensuring that the password meets the requirements. After clicking Next, you will confirm that you are aware of the cost of the instance and that the usage will commence as soon as the instance is deployed. While the instance is being deployed, the instance tile will display a busy status, and the icon in the upper right corner of the tile will be active. When the deployment is complete, the status of the instance tile will change to ready, and you can select the Open VCD function at the bottom left corner of the tile. To access the VMware Cloud Director Service instance login page, after logging in with the administrator password that you provided during the deployment request, you will be able to operate your new VMware Cloud Director Service instance. Next, you will see how to reset the administrator password of a VMware Cloud Director Service instance. In the Actions menu at the bottom of the tile, select the Reset Password function in the password field provided. Enter the new password and select Perform the tile status will be busy until the password reset is complete. The next action allows you to create a support bundle. In the Actions menu at the bottom of the tile, select the Create Support Bundle option. Select Perform to begin the process. While the bundle is being created, the tiles will display a busy status. When the process completes, select the Activity Log menu to see the task that was executed. Click on the vertical ellipsis before the Create Support Bundle task name and select View Files. From here, you can click on the links to download the files. Now it's time to associate a VMware Cloud on AWS SDDC with your VMware Cloud Director Service instance. In the Actions menu at the bottom of the tile, select Associate a VMC SDDC. In the fields provided, enter the API access token the UUID of the VMC organization, and the name of the SDDC. Next, select Perform. The tile status will be busy until the association is complete. When the association is complete, you can select the Open VCD function to log into VMware Cloud Director. If you click on the vSphere Resources menu item, you will see the entry for the vCenter of the SDDC that was associated you can incorporate the Cloud Director Service instance into your existing internet domain by assigning a custom domain name to the instance. In the Actions menu at the bottom of the tile, select Associate a Custom Domain Name. In the fields provided, enter the domain names for the VCD instance and console proxy, then paste the private key and domain certificate into the form and select Associate Custom Domain. 
the tile status will be busy until the association is complete. When the association is complete, you can select the Open VCD function to log into VCD using the new domain name. In the URL of your browser, you will now see your custom domain name in use. Next, we will see how to delete a VMware Cloud Director service instance. In the Actions menu at the bottom of the tile, select Delete Instance. On the Confirmation dialog, select the box next to each statement to show that you understand what the deletion process will do, and then select Delete. While the instance is being deleted, the tile status will display Busy. Once the last instance has been deleted, you will see the Welcome screen again. This concludes the demonstration of VMware Cloud Director Service lifecycle functions. To learn more about VMware Cloud Director Service, visit our website at cloud.vmware.com slash cloud provider hub slash cloud director service.